Hey, it's Ben Greenfield, and uh, it's pretty rare that I'll shoot videos for you from my car or my truck, but I do occasionally do that. The reason I'm shooting this video for you today is I want to talk to you about toxins and environmental pollutants and the hidden ways that a lot of these things can creep into our lungs, literally. Um, and the reason this is important is because when you're getting exposure to a lot of these things, uh, such as pollutants and what are called uh, fake estrogens, phytoestrogens, xenoestrogens, the stuff you're going to smell in perfumes and cleaners and things of that nature, they basically toxify your liver and make you fat. Your body stores a lot of these xenoestrogens and fat tissue. Um, they mimic a lot of the effects of hormones in the human body and uh, result in both men and women, um, things like excessive weight gain, um, and men, man boobs, uh, a lot of times just feelings of, of mental fuzziness and what we associate with, with living a toxic lifestyle. So um, here's what I want to get into in terms of the nitty gritty of this stuff. Yesterday, I went and picked my kids up from daycare at the ski resort and walked into the place after being snowboarding up in the fresh mountain air all day long and I literally felt almost knocked out from the smell of that hand cleaner that all the kids and all the daycare um, supervisors use on their hands to clean their hands, this antibacterial rub. And it was overpowering. I thought, wow, my kids are just playing in here all day long and it literally smells like they're swimming in chemicals. And then this morning I was in church and I was sitting there in church, and a lot of times when I'm when I'm sitting like that, I'm practicing some of my deep breathing and you know breathing from the stomach, taking big you know nostrilful breaths of, of air in, and all I could smell was like perfume and cologne and deodorant, and all these these additional um, xenoestrogens, pollutants, toxins um, in church, ironically, and. Um, then I just now got a haircut. Doesn't look nice. And while I was sitting in there in a haircut, again, all you could smell was the the, the health the the health products and the hair products and all that stuff. So what this comes down to is that we're surrounded by this stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to live in a bubble and never take my kids to daycare and not ever go to church or be in big gatherings of people where people smell pretty. Um, or I never get a haircut. God forbid. That would look a little funky. But you do need to mitigate the damage where you can mitigate the damage. So what are some things that you can do? Um, here, are, here are three ideas to get you started. Number one, when you can get fresh air exposure, get fresh air exposure. Meaning that if you have the option of working out outdoors or just working out indoors, go outdoors, get that fresh air. Um, always make it a point to expose yourself to fresh air on a daily basis. Even when you're working in your office, you know, try and step outside occasionally get fresh air into your lungs. Um, number two, filter the air where you can, which means that I do recommend you look into not only making sure that you get the ducts in your house cleaned on a regular basis, like on a yearly basis to get rid of molds and things that can build up in the ducts in your house, but also highly consider looking into getting a HEPA filter installed in your home. Okay. And number three would be take care of your liver. Detox your liver when you are in these type of situations where you're getting exposed to lots of chemicals, pollutants, perfumes, um, you know, healthcare products, chemicals, things of that nature. Um, a few of the things I recommend for that would be using something like a calcium deglucurate supplement, using something like a liposomal glutathione supplement, or even using something like a full spectrum antioxidant. Your liver has a couple of different detoxification pathways. One's a phase two, one pathway and one's a phase two pathway. And a, a good mix of sulfur-based compounds like glutathione, garlic, onion, stuff like that, combined with a good full-spectrum antioxidant will really um, do a favor to your liver. So that's my quick five-minute spiel on toxins, where you get them, what you can do about them, how to stay aware, just something that's been on my mind, um, and I, I wanted to shoot that video for you. So I hope that helps, and you can leave any of your comments or questions under this video. If you like it when I give you little quick tips like this from my car, um, as I'm pulling into the parking lot now, um, let me know, and I'll give you more. All right, I'm Ben Greenfield, over and out.